everybody. Today, Dr. Neely and I are going to demonstrate what we'd like to call the wine bottle opener. The wine bottle opener is an exercise that I've created in order to teach people how to keep their back and their chest open while aligning their upper back in proper posture. Getting away from this type of posture, creating that hump and the headache and the tension, it just, just doesn't look very nice to be rounded forward all of the time. And so many of the patients that I see have tried to correct this by pulling their shoulder blades back and together very much like a soldier. But that is not proper posture. Proper posture has everything to do with allowing your shoulder blades to come down your back and together. As your shoulder blades come down your back and together, your neck will appear to be longer, your chest will stay open, you'll be able to breathe deep, and you should find yourself in a more relaxed posture and not something that it's taking a lot of effort to hold. So Dr. Neely is going to help me demonstrate this so you can see the difference between the two motions. So I'll have you turn around. So what many people are trying to do when they're correcting their posture, whether sitting or standing, is pull their shoulder blades back and together. You can see when he pulls his shoulder blades back and together, that does open up his chest, but in a very artificial way. He's popping his chest open, which is not a very healthy position for his upper back. It is also building a lot of tension and shutting down his back, which is not going to allow him to breathe very deeply, as well as the fact that this is just an impossible position to maintain for long periods of time. That's very different than learning to activate the muscles in the lower part of your shoulder blades and through here. And so by doing that, all that Dr. Neely is doing now is he's going to start off by doing a prep by turning his arms out. So just really gently, not forcing at all, just gently turning his arms out, you'll immediately feel these muscles kick on. And now all he's going to picture is that these shoulder blades, when he turns his arms out, are coming down and together. Great. And then relax. Just a really gentle motion. Arm, shoulder blades going out, hands going out, down, together, and then relaxing. One more time. Hands going out. Pull your shoulder blades down and together, and then relax. You can see his back stays very wide when he does this. He's able to breathe deeply. He's not retracting his chin in an uncomfortable manner or building any tension in his body. He's simply teaching his body to turn these muscles on, which will come in very handy if he was doing, for example, a bicep curl. You want to keep your shoulder blades down and in proper posture when you're doing a bicep curl or an overhead press or even simply just working at your desk. Learning to isolate these muscles is really the key in maintaining the proper posture of your upper back. So I'm going to suggest you try this out about seven reps in the morning, seven reps at night, and then even when you're sitting at your desk or you're at a stoplight every once in a while, just try to put your mind in that muscle and see if you can let your shoulder blades come down and together, broadening your chest and your upper back and taking a few deep breaths. 